this episode, that was no lady. All right, well, I'll try it this way. I'm not really screen sharing, but I am also screen sharing. So you don't see the patches in the background this way. And I can't tell if I'm live, so it's kind of weird. Anyway, uh, give me some feedback if anybody's watching this thing live. Uh, I've just got some maintenance to do over at Minuteman University, and I figured I would uh, go live and see uh, anybody. Yeah, thanks for that. I uh, wanted to chat in the comments while we're doing this. So using uh, WordPress uh, to uh, run Minuteman University, pretty standard. Type of deal, you log into it. Which I'm hoping you can't see because I took it off the screen. Right? Uh, and then once you're logged in, you jump in and you've got a dashboard like a lot of online types of thingies and then uh, you dig into it. So I'm going to go back to the public side of it and go to through the navigation screens or ma ma menus, uh, go into firearms industry and then firearms instructors and I've had just basically pictures in here. And this is my issue is the reason I do the cartoons is uh, the pictures are just inconsistent. Almost always they're a JPEG uh, which just means that they're not a transparent background for the most part. Well, I can't think it can even be a transparent background with a JPEG, but it also gives you the square. So even though Ed McGivern is standing in front of a white background, uh, the picture is always going to be a square. And that's fine, except you can see that there's proportions or I think it's just called proportion or scale or whatever the numbers mean. But you can see how this guy's picture is in a different thing than this guy's picture and so forth. So there's that issue. And then uh, some of them are black and white when they're old. Can you imagine Wingate? This guy was from 1700s. There was hardly any color iPhone pictures from that era anymore. And uh, and then some of these are great. Like I got pictures from, like dude here is probably a giant picture from, uh, you know, some kind of uh, marketing or uh, what do you call that? Like a media kit. So uh, the cartoons just give it some consistency. So this has been a mess and been working on the, uh, the book, which is basically taking the Minuteman University project into print. So I'm going to go in here and basically update a bunch of these. We've been making cartoons. So there's a whole bunch of new cartoons over here. Uh, so I'm just right clicking and opening in a new window. Uh, the various, uh, this I'm looking at firearms instructors here. And give me some feedback if the uh, fans are too loud too. Got a lot of fans. Well, I got the fan right here next to the computer. Uh, so as I open these things up in a new window, uh, that'll give me the opportunity to edit them. This isn't the only way to do it. I just happen to do it this way, uh, mainly because I'm narrating it. And uh, I don't know. Otherwise, I'd be speaking like going back and forth. So I guess I'll do it back and forth to show you what that's like. So I've got the page here, and let's say I jump into Ron Avery. I can edit that page. And I can want to basically change the featured image for the page and any images. Right on. Appreciate the feedback. Um, change the images here and then the one that gets displayed out there. Um, we'll talk about that in a second. So um, we're in here editing. I'm going to add media. And these are the media library that's already in there. Stuff that I've already uploaded. And since I haven't yet done that for this new batch of cartoons, Cartoons. I'm going to go find them on my computer. This is a file or a folder, I guess, where a bunch of the activists are. But I don't need activists this time around. I need inventors. And at the bottom of this inventors is where I hit all the instructors. So I'll use my control key on the keyboard uh, at some point. I'll use my control. on the keyboard to make these things computer slowing down or is my internet slowing down? Let's, so let's just go to extra large icons and be done with it. All right, so we got all these ones down here that are new. And instead of uploading just one, I'm going to upload, uh, I guess I should, 
You know, I can upload a bunch of them. So I'm going to start there and go up to here. And I hit shift on my keyboard and I clicked. And that selected everything in between the first one I clicked and the second one. And now I've got this whole selection of them highlighted. I'm almost positive I got Hackathon up there already, so I'm going to hold that in the control key and click on that, and it'll deselect that one, but all the others stay selected. I just don't want to re-upload anything, so I'm deselecting the ones that I might already have posted up there. But I think all the rest of these are new. So uh, now I'll open, and what's happening now is that I, I don't know, made have I upload? I just uploaded 30 new cartoons, which are all going up to the website. However, I'm not going to shove them all on this uh, page, right? Let's put that back because I've got spiders biting me in the back. Every time I go there, it doesn't please happen right here. I get bit by a worm, or do I have a crazy scarring? You would have think we would have developed eyes on our back to see stuff. I can't tell if I'm being bit by some kind of a leech or if i got a sore on my back that's new or something. Person. All right, so uh, uh, we don't want any of these, really. So I'm just going to select one and then unselect it and then find, who is this again? I'm uploading to run. So I need to go to this, just remove it. And, and basically, I'm just uh, cartooning the same picture that I had in there, so it's pretty easy to find it. Now that they're all uploaded to the server, though, it makes it a bit easier for me to uh, not have to jump back and forth on that aspect of it. So now it's just going to be a matter of switching over to the cartoon and then updating. And what I was doing here was showing you if I did this for each one uh, and then went back to that page, let's say, I'd have to then navigate back to that page, and then I could verify that somewhere down here, Ron is now the cartoon, right? So instead, what I'm doing is I'm going to leave this page open, and I right-click on each one. So Kathy, I'll right-click and open her in a new tab, go to her page over here. I don't even have a anything for her yet. This is all just placeholder. This is a giant project, and it isn't anywhere near complete. So this is the step that I'm working on towards completion. Uh, did a cartoon uh, from a picture found on the web, and now I can add that same cartoon to the featured image for the page. And now when I update that one, and I can leave it open if I choose, because my browser is pretty big, or my uh, screen is pretty big, I could leave this thing open and just have a lot of tabs. But I can also just now, once it's updated, I can close it, and then just go back to that first tab and refresh. And now Kathy's picture will appear there. And that's how I just prefer to do it. So I'm going to go through, I've already right-clicked and opened these sequentially. So I'm just going to go through to Elmer's here. And I had for Elmer a infographic thingy I made. I'll leave that there on the page, but now I'll just change the featured image to be, is this Elmer? Yeah, I'm not a great cartoonist or nothing, so I'm just uh, doing this for consistency. So now if I refresh, uh, Elmer just changed to a cartoon. Um, next up is Jelly Bryce. Dude walked up to, he was in the FBI, I guess. And he, uh, what did he do? He shot somebody out of a car or he did something. And, it's not him. He did something. He shot somebody. And then he walked up to him and they're like, dang, I got shot by a jelly bean. And I guess that's what it meant when you wore all these fancy clothes back in the day. So they call them Jelly Bryce. Many. All right, so next we'll go to Applegate. This dude, uh, see, he earned his marksmanship from Gus Perret or whatever. Learned, sure, right there. Learned marksmanship from his uncle. And then uh, I got his uncle in here too. Horrible picture, because I'm a bad cartoonist. Uh, what does this guy look? Do I have them in here? This is... See, that's how good a person is saying, I can't even tell what I'm looking for. Um, Applicate, so it should be right at the beginning. Oh no, it's not alphabetical, duh. Okay. 
There it is. So yeah, that's how bad of a thing. I drew that guy out of that. That's pretty bad. But nobody else is doing it, so that's what you get. Then we get Tom, who's range master. And I'll probably just leave the I don't know, should I leave the image in there? Or just change the image out too. Be more consistent to just have the great twenty guys. And then when I do these, I can just close them as I don't. And then whenever I come over here again, I refresh. It's starting to be more consistent, more cartoons across the panel. Uh, Pat just passed recently, relatively recently. So uh, that one's a tougher one. I never met the dude, but I know a lot of people that respect them. So that was, I did not make that one look goofy. Okay. okay. these people I do know, and hopefully they're not going to kick my ass because I didn't make them look very good, I don't think. Um, this guy is an Australian, or what am I saying, an ass South African, and uh, came over here and started being an instructor at Gunsight. I was curious how this one's going to work because it's got so much white in it. I don't usually use white. I'm not good at color or color correction or whatever that skill is called where you make colors on a paper. And this one is definitely testing that. Probably a bad, bad idea. We get our book. Then we get John Farnham. I don't know so much about this guy, uh, but a lot of people think uh, Marine. What's all this about? John Conroe, and what is that about? I don't know. Is that some weird thing, or is it trying to add the conversation? Um, this is another bad one, I think. Um, oh, there it is. All right, and then we get Clint. Don't know this dude either, but I know a lot of people the same way. I get this from him and looks stupid, so hopefully they're all right. Oh, probably not. I just like this one. Uh, another dude from Gunsight. No, he attended Gunsight. No, he taught at Gunsight, yeah. He was one of the early teachers. Then you get Bill Rogers, who's a holster dude. Felt first Kydex holster. Uh, am I going to recognize the cartoon I did of him now? Is the next question. Yeah. No. So. Did I do a cartoon of this one? No So, oh, it's some sci fi book thing. I mean, sci fi school. But being weird is like. Alright, so. Are these things up with that? No, they're not. Well, I might not have done that, dudes. Or did I put them someplace else? That could be. And I gotta remember who it was again. Uh, Bill Rogers. Just close that one and act like I didn't do nothing. Let's see what is going on here. Oh, 
Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry, so I'm doing something over there in real life. And then going over here. I feel like I probably didn't do too good. Wait, let me go. I'm going to the library because I already uploaded all of these. Uh, I figure I only spend like five minutes on each one of these approximately. So uh, it shouldn't be a big deal to just do another one if somebody else doesn't like theirs or something. Or even if enough people are like that, doesn't look like that too. Right, and now we'll go over here and refresh. So that's fun is watching a change. Oh, did I not do any of the early ones? It's definitely getting there though. It was all photographs before, and I think there might only be that one photograph after. So Tuller, I know this dude. I uh, met him a couple of times now. He was my I've done two Glock uh in what do you call that thing? Armor. Uh courses and he was the instructor for both of them, uh, mainly because I picked the class and I didn't want to go to some other instructor. I went to that guy. So um, that was kind of fun. Do my golf training with Tuller. And he's a of a nice guy. So we did uh, some interviews and stuff. We were still doing YouTube back then. So I'll leave that one. So then Ed McGivern, who's this guy's deal? Exhibition Shooter, Cowboy Hall of Fame, wrote a book called Fast and Fancy Revolver Shooting. And I think what the deal is, is every time I hear somebody, an old timer, talk about the olden days or where they learned from, that's one of the names that comes up all the damn time. So what's he going to look like in my cartoon version of him? That's the question. You'd think he'd look old, except it's not him. Not this one. That's us. So I'm looking for Ed McGillard. Not this. No. It's not this. That's pretty bad. Um, there he is. So the problem is, I went with a different picture than the one in the photograph. So it's tricky. A lot of this is also to give me some structure, some framework to uh, uh, add to, right, to build on in the future. So then uh, it's basically what I'm doing is going in here and it's fear bar. So then Tell me I didn't do this one either. I swear I did this one. Well, let's see. Eric Sykes. I was all done and maybe I'm not done. Well, maybe I can take it in here. No, we don't work. There he is. Boom. Okay, so I did do it. So I just have to find which one is this. Okay, it just doesn't look anything like them. So I psyched myself. Psych, get it? Psychs. Oh, yeah, that's a bad picture. All right, there we go. That's an old one. Then we get Fairbairn. This dude looks just like a dude I knew in high school when he gets old. So if I would have seen that picture back when I was in high school, I would have made this one dude look at it and I would have made fun of him for being that guy because he's going to look exactly like this when he gets old. And 
I would say who he is, but nobody would know, so I'm not going to say who he is. Uh, and then this guy. So Gus was a professional shooter, an exhibition shooter, and he taught Rex Applegate how to shoot. And, and that guy, Rex Applegate, uh, first he made Applebee's, and then he went and learned how to fight on the streets of like Hong Kong or somewhere, came back and taught everybody in all the spies and operatives in World War II how to fight dirty like on the streets. And then that is how the resistance and the spies and the OSS, which would become this, uh, what do you call us nowadays, you call the uh, um, special operations, all come from Applegate, who comes from Red. Us. All right, so next you get Bill Rogers. I got to figure out Rob Latham. I do did that one. This one I did. This one I did. This one I did. Oh, you know what? I only had pulled out a few of these. That's why. So then I can finish these up. Doing the same thing, opening them up. Going over here. Half the time when you're doing them, they're like, oh, okay, that looks good. And then you look at them after the fact, and like, no, nope, that looks purple. Like, no, that guy looks purple, and that guy looks orange, and that dude looks yellow. And, yeah, I don't understand the colors part of this whole thing. And then this guy. Oh, what's up with Gabe? Is he still around? Part of this is going to be the uh, figuring out, keeping tabs where all these things schools, instructors, and mindsets, and relationships, and everything went to. Paul, it's gone. How many people remember Paul Gomez? I should have done a picture of Paul of, uh, with his hat on. In fact, I may. And then some people call this chick a sellout or a company, but I'm putting her in here. Anyway, there's going to be more chicks also because there's quite a few chicks that uh, are instructors. But uh, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to be inclusive because of being woke or whatever. But also, it's a bunch of stuff. Uh, and. It's not all about being polished, right? It's about uh, authenticity. I believe she brings that to the table. Uh, then we get this guy, and I don't know much about him, so I'll just have this one near at the end. I think. And now when we refresh, boom, much better. So except for Bill Rogers, I guess I didn't do Bill Rogers. I thought I did. It uh, looks like we now have all the instructors are cartooned, which means I can now take them over to the book and insert them where they need to be inserted. Very few of them are just instructors. For example, most of these uh, are activists in some way or another. And um, occasionally things like, uh, or folks like Tony and uh, KD and others have been uh, Jim. And a lot of them actually have created uh, uh, organizations or projects. And then there's schools represented here. Also, types of shooting and mindset, like theory on shooting. So there's lots of stuff to develop here. We'll put as much as we can into the uh, current project, which I should probably plug more often. But, you know, it's going to happen one way or the other. It's just whether or not it's going to look like a fancy book or not. Uh, but we'll be able to then... Now that we have these pieces in place, be able to start using them to uh, uh, share and explore our uh, Second Amendment, our, our industry and our uh, community. All right, with that, that's a little bit of just doing some work and trying to attempt to share it, uh, offer some uh, over the shoulder type uh, workshop. Uh, using, in this case, words, uh, what's it called? WordPress, uh, pretty old tech, solid tech, does the job. 
allows me to insert each of these uh, entries, right? And then display them on pages. Uh, I'm, I'm able to filter them. So in this case, we're looking at instructors, but we could just as easily go up and go filter through different manufacturers, display these in different ways. Um, each of the files opens up and can have infinite material or information behind it. And you know, then once we're able to uh, take these things into other projects like the books and the videos and things, you know, we've got them as building blocks for other projects. All right, so as we filter and hone this, it'll be even more useful. That's what, one of the things that bugs me is I don't know everybody's birthday because everybody refuses to tell me their date of births because of security reasons or whatever. So it's just uh, very frustrating to not have everybody organized by date of birth, but, you know, freedom or whatever. So that way you can filter them by other things. Uh, you can go in here and look at just the researchers, for example, uh, or whatever we were just working on the uh, instructors. So uh, besides instructors, we have the schools that they, where's all this stuff? So this is firearms. This would be the, in the community. These are all in the industry. We got the instructors. Then we've got the, uh, a lot of stuff in this list. The schools that they teach at, right? That's all in here. And we'll be able to add more now. Because now when you go in and look at like gun site, now we have all the cartoons to add to all the people that would have worked at gun site, right? Anyway, so that's a little insight into the um uh what 20 minutes worth of effort on the little piece of a project. Uh, Clover jumped in here to say he jumped in late. Yeah, no big deal. There's nearly nothing here. I was doing a little workshop and, and I tried attempting to poorly explain, I don't know how bad the audio is, uh, just what I've been doing to update uh, the, web, the website over here. Um, otherwise, yeah, happy, happy Father's Day, everybody. Uh, let's remember the fathers that are deployed and the youngins that don't get to uh, have the same Father's Day as everybody else because of that kind of dedication to bigger picture. And then of course the founding fathers are cool. And then since we're in here, why don't we take a quick look at, oops, I'm on gunshot guides. So uh, if we jump back over to this one, why don't we take a look at um, those activists again. And those are the founding fathers of not just the country, but of our founding, no, we call them founding fathers, even though some of them are chicks, of the different organizations that help keep our rights uh, secure so, and somehow wrap it back to 2A because that's how it, 2A I am as I'm cramming 2A into Father's Day. All right, thanks for everybody for showing up. Go do some stuff, that's fun. Uh, um, yeah, whatever.